glorious father had heard your praises, and this night he means to burn the lodging where you used to lie, and you within it. If he fail of that, he will have other means to cut you off. Here is a young maid with travel much oppressed and faint the succor. Fair sir, I pity her, and wish for her sake more than for mine own. My fortunes were more able to relieve her, but I am shepherd to another man, and do not shear the fleeces that I graze. Now my master is of churlish disposition, and little recks to find the way to heaven by doing deeds of hospitality. <laughs> Besides, his coat, his flocks, and bounds of feed are now on sale, and at our sheep coat now, by reason of his absence, there is nothing that you will feed on. But what is, come see. And in my voice, most welcome shall you be. If any philosophy in thee, <laughs> no more but that I know. The more one sickens, the worse at ease he is. And he that wants money, means, and contempt is without three good friends. The property of rain is to wet, and fire to burn. A good pasture makes fat sheep, and at a great cause of the night is lack of the sun. All this I give you. Let me be your servant. Oh, I look old, yet I am strong and lusty, for in my youth I never did apply hot and rebellious liquors in my blood. Nor did not with unbashful forehead woo the means of weakness and debility. Therefore my age is as a lusty winter, frosty, but kind. Let me go with you. I'll do the service of a younger man in all your business and necessity. I shall not trouble you as yet to question you about your fortune. Give us some music and good luck. As friends. 